Alright, so if you do need some data to actually play around with, in this part what we're going to be doing is first of all creating our users table and then we're going to be seeding this with some fake data. And to do that we're going to be using a PHP library called Faker which will allow us to really quickly just populate our database table with as many records as we want and that data will be obviously fake but it will be fairly realistic. So the first thing that we want to do then is just create a new file inside of our project and I'm going to call this seed.php. So this is just going to be a sort of temporary dis disposable file that we can just use to, to generate everything. Okay, so we don't have a database table yet, so I'm in a database called website. Let's create a table here called users. And for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to be storing a username. And let's give that a varchar of say 50, it can obviously be less. And we'll untick allow null. So obviously rather than creating all these ourselves, let's go ahead and install Faker and we're going to be doing that with Composer, which is a dependency manager for PHP. So if you don't have that, go ahead over to getcomposer.org to download it. Um, we'll see how we use it in just a moment, so don't worry about that. So we need a connection to our database. So let's instantiate PDO. So we'll create a new PDO instance here. I'm using MySQL and the host is just going to be 127.0.0.1. And the database name for me is website, but it might be a little bit different for you. And we'll just provide our username and our password. In this case, it's root and root for me. So we need to pull in uh, Faker. Now, Faker is available on GitHub for you to browse and have a look at how you use it. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using Composer to pull this down from Packagist. So um, you can see on Packagist here, if you just Google for uh, Faker Packagist, you'll, you'll see this result probably pop up. And we're going to pull in version 1.4.0. We're not going to worry about 1.4.star or any incremental versions because we're just sort of playing around here. So we need to go ahead and create a composer JSON file to manage our dependencies. So let's create a new file called composer.json. And obviously this is going to contain JSON. Now for our development requirements, we want to pull in Faker. So all we need to do is copy the name of the uh, repository. In this case, it's this. And then we need to choose the version. I'm just going to pull in 1.4.0. You can do something like 1.4.star or whatever makes sense. So we now need to make sure that fake is actually installed. It's not at the moment. We've just required it in as a dependency. Um, so inside of a terminal just here, I'm within the directory that my composer JSON file is in. Making sure that you do have Composer installed, you can just run Composer just to check. And then we're going to issue the install command. That's going to go ahead and pull down Faker for us. So once that is done, you'll see we have a vendor folder and we have an autoload to pull in all of our dependencies. So in this case, we can require in vendor autoload and then we can just easily make use of Faker. So to use Faker, it's pretty straightforward. If you head over to the GitHub documentation, we basically just need to use Faker's factory to create an instance. So we can just copy and paste this. We uh, will save a little bit of time here. And we need to now loop. So for every, uh, for every loop of any loop that we do, Faker's going to generate a new piece of data depending on which kind of attributes you want to access. Now in our, our case we're interested in a username. So you can see an example here, Faker under the provider for internet we can use the username and that will generate a sort of random but realistic-ish username for us. So I'm just going to do a for each here and I'm going to loop on the range function. This will just generate an array um, and with 10,000 elements and we'll just call that x. It doesn't really matter too much. So inside of this loop, we want to query. So we're going to query the database. And this query is going to be insert into users. And we want to insert on the username. And the values here are going to be, so we need to sort of use a username here. So all we do is we say faker user name, capital N. So all this will do then is once we've got faker up and running and we've got an instance of it, every loop is going to generate a new record. So let's go ahead and run this in the browser and just test this out. So seed.php, this obviously will take a little bit of a while. And once that is done, we'll head over to our database and refresh. And there we go. So we've got a list now of um, 9,880 usernames. So that is pretty much it. We've created our users table and we've got a large data set that we can start testing this out with. So we're now ready to start building what we need to build.